So if you saw my video on Richard Rider, you'll recall that after the events of Nova Volume 1, that Richard Rider had reappeared in the Mighty Thor issue number 412 as a member of a new group called the New Warriors. And the New Warriors was a group that had been assembled by the superhero Night Thrasher. And the whole basis for Night Thrasher assembling the New Warriors was due to the fact that his parents had previously been murdered. And as a result, he really kind of took on this Batman-esque persona in the sense that he was a uh, owner of a charitable organization by day, but he was a crime fighter by night. But as time progressed and he began to realize the sheer magnitude of some of the powers belonging to various supervillains and the sheer number of supervillains, he began to find himself outclassed. And so as a result, he created a team that could assist him in uh, achieving his goals of fighting crime. Now, over the publication history of the New Warriors, we see several roster changes taking place, which also include Nova leaving the group due to the Annihilation storyline. And what we see is that not Night Thrasher, who had previously been covering the financial costs of the team in order to uh, in order for them to maintain their operations, is beginning to lose money, and so he signs the team up for a reality TV show. And the whole basis of this reality TV show is that the New Warriors will go about their day-to-day -day actions of fighting crime, but they will do it in front of a camera, and the network will cover the costs of their operations. But what we see is that ultimately the New Warriors come across a set of supervillains who have a lot more power than they had initially thought. We see every member except for the uh, except for one member of the new uh, new warriors dying and we ultimately see the Marvel Civil War storyline kick off after a massive amount of destruction is caused due to the actions of one of the supervillains.